यूएसए नो ब्रो यूके यूएसए रे नो यूके in abroad so this video is for you so let's start with the very first point that is duration of the program in the usa the masters degree is for 2 years but one can complete it within 1.5 years <laughs> only one year just in one year you can get your masters program completed that's less than usa okay this point goes to you Now the second point is cost. The tuition fee in the USA costs to around fifty to sixty thousand USD. That is around forty to fifty lakhs. So whereas if you take UK, it will cost you around twenty to thirty thousand GBP. That means twenty to thirty lakhs INR. But what about the living expenses? It will cost you around nine to ten lakhs per year in the USA. Whereas in the UK, it will cost you around ten to twelve lakhs per year. So I guess this, this point, point goes to me. Third point is curriculum. The master's program curriculum in UK is more specialized and focused. But in the USA, there are variety ranges of courses available for the students, and they can select their specialization as per their choice. So it is a win-win situation. Okay. So the fourth point is test score requirements. GRE is required to help you out with the scholarship requirements, but in the recent years, many of the universities have waived off and kept it optional. And talking about the English proficiency examinations, IELTS or TOEFL is required. But bro, in this case over here in UK, GRE is not even required. Only your IELTS or TOEFL scores are enough. So this point is for you. Fifth point is reputed university. The UK is known for its world-renowned university and Russell Group University, such as University of Oxford and University of Cambridge. The USA is well known for its Ivy League universities such as Harvard, Stanford, and Yale University. So now this is a win-win situation for both of us. I yes, it is. Okay. Sixth point is visa. The UK visa is completely document based. Also, the success rate is quite high. But that's not in USA's case. It requires an interview session, which comes with lots of stress and nervousness. Yes, that is true. That it is an interview based visa, but confidence is the only key. But then too, this point is mine. Okay. So the seventh point is stay back option. You get a stay back option of up to three years, and that's not the case in the UK. It is only for two years. But I guess there is something STEM and non-STEM. What about it? Oh yeah. So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Management. The student who want to apply for the STEM courses can stay up to three years, and when it comes to the non-STEM, the student can stay up to one year. any which ways that's not the case over here because you go for any kind of course maybe it's a management or psychology any kind of course you get a stay back of 2 years so this point goes to you eight and the last point is employment opportunities so whereas if you take uk it has a smaller job market but focuses on research and development So the USA offers various job opportunities for the master's graduate and the USA has a larger job market and higher demand for the skilled workers at certain industries. So I guess this, this point, point goes, goes to me. Okay. So now let's keep our fight aside because yes. I think uh, it's a win-win situation for us. So let's jump on to the conclusion part. The decision between a master's degree in the UK or the USA should be based on individual preferences and goals. It is important to research specific programs and universities to determine which will meet your needs and help you to achieve your career aspirations. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions and any doubts regarding studying abroad, you can check our appointment link given below. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates from Gadgets.